Hello and welcome to the Roblox Racing League. We are here with the top three racers from last week. You might see that this is the same interview place as last week, as the new interview area has not been created yet. But let's go ahead and start by interviewing Momo, who got second place. So, let's start out with this question. Will you miss the Roblox Air Racing League, since this uh, next week will be the last one? Well, I do miss it already, because I know it's coming to an end, but I hope that we will... Uh, go through season two as well. Um, I'm li really looking forward to this. I even have an aircraft ready for season two already, and mm -hmm. I really hope that we will really, really put season two into happening. Okay, and who do you think is your biggest competitor for uh, next week? My biggest competitor is the guy sitting next to me, Viper, because <laughs> his uh, score count are, and skill are pretty much the same as mine. Um, I don't really have anyone else I have to fear besides Spat, probably, but um, yeah, that's another thing to, uh, to say, because I think Spat will still um, screw this one up. Because the issue is, the, pra the new place, the new race location hasn't been able for practice yet, and this is a huge issue. I hope this will be fixed in the next uh, season of Roblox Air Racing League, but we will have more time to practice. Okay, and now let's hear it from Momo's competitor, Viper Scale, who got first place again this week. Yeah. So, firstly, are you excited and well trained for this last week? Um, no, absolutely oh. not. Pyro Peak is an insanely <laughs> difficult track, the hardest track we've ever had by far. Uh, this was, I think, what was our hardest track? Mama, what was our hardest track? Uh, the four Pyro. Probably this track. Probably this, yeah. Because and this wasn't even yeah, especially the chicane in the uh, in the living area next to the interview place because that was a very very tight turn and the 180 turn uh, where you come into the river. Right, Pyro Peak is probably about three times harder than this. Um, there's light poles everywhere, there's trees everywhere, and you can barely see the turns. Not to mention the fact that we've barely gotten any practice. Mhm. Mm yeah. The race is only, what is that, five days if away. I may say something need, about this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Due to the less practice we had at the moment at this track, I think only pilots with past experience from mostly military flight and uh, earlier racing leagues um, will have a chance at this because this track will probably take a lot of um, improvisation for the pilots. You have to mm -hmm. adapt your flying skills into the new track and that is probably the hardest part of the race this week. I personally think I'm gonna crash. I personally think that all but maybe one or two of the pilots are gonna crash. And the hardest part... You can't... So... Not to mention the fact that you can't see the turns. Because there's light poles, there's trees, and the turns are super sharp. Not only that, the order is so hard to get to. Because by the time you're trying to remember the order, you're already, like, just trying to not crash into a light pole. It, yeah. It's crazy, man. I've never gotten a single... I've never gotten in past, I think, the first third of the track. Never done it. All right, and uh, one final question: Who do you, who ah do you think you can keep your first place streak, which you have gotten two in a row right now? Do you think you can make it that third last first place? Oh hell no, 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 absolutely not. No chance. I'm doing well at Pyro Peak whatsoever. If the pilots don't crash, they're gonna take their time and they're gonna get improper order penalties and they're gonna be getting bad times, so they're not crashing into light poles constantly. It's 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 a real you know this track isn't just about skill. It is skill for flying for flying planes. It's about strategy too. Because you have to pace yourself on this track. Normally you don't pace yourself. You just go you just go at it. You get a pile 
but yeah. whatever, just keep going. But you gotta pace yourself, man. A pylon hit here, or hitting a light pole here, is a lot worse than hitting a pylon. So for the next week, it's mostly concentrating on not trying to crash and not on time, which is a different thing that will happen. So thank you so much uh, to you two for letting us interview you with uh, Nord TV. And now let's see what the Roblox Racing League is all about. All Roblox Air Racing League races have three rounds, the round of 12, the round of 8, and then the final four. The round of 12 consists of all 12 teams with one pilot each. Pilots will go around the track and try to get the best time possible in one go. After all 12 pilots have finished their laps, the best 8 pilots will move on to the next round. The other 4 pilots will be eliminated from that race. The round of 8 consists of those 8 teams that were able to move on from the round of 12. The concept is the same between all rounds. Pilots have one go to get their best time. However, only the top 4 pilots will move on to the final round of 4. The round of 4 consists of the teams that have still not been eliminated from the competition. The rules are still the same, however, the stakes are even higher. Whoever comes out on top from the round of four wins that race. Hello everybody and welcome back to Roblox Air Racing League. This is the final round of 12 of the season and we are here at Pyro Peak, Italy. Now, as we're going to be getting ready to take off the first pilot be flying for us here today will be Momo Builder. So about this track, this track is actually one of the shortest, this track is the shortest track of the races that we've had this year in this race. And um, this track provides for some pretty good views and some pretty good backdrops. As the green flag waves from a loader, he will be the first Pilot into the track. And as Momo enters the track, he is going to be flying well. That terrain over there is going to be very difficult for some pilots taking that very well. He has to take this one chicane, which he will have no problem taking, and Momo Builder will get a time of 21.634, which will hold him in first place. Next pilot we're going to see racing today will be Blaine, flying for Team Bud White. And Blaine has been cleared for takeoff.
And Blaine has been cleared into the track, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how he will do on this short track. Taking this entry, start really low. Providing some great shots for the camera. Gonna take that one chicane perfect. Almost hits the ground, but is able to recover. He's gonna take that pylon great, which will count as a sector for him. Has to take this last chicane turn. He will take the chicane really well. And into the track with a time of 21.588, which will hold him in first place. Next up is going to be a drop who will be flying for Pinky Skirt team. For Pinky Skirt's team. He's been cleared to line up and he will be taken off momentarily. And Team Orqua has been cleared for takeoff. And Team Orqua has been cleared into the track. Seems to be taking a very weird approach into the track. And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> into the track he goes. Passing the double pylon. Perfect. Takes the first pylon without a problem. Almost hits the ground. He missed that. And that will be a DNF. Alright, next up is going to be Avia Papo and his very weird plane. I don't even know if it will actually be able to fit into the track, but hey, there's a first time for everything, I guess. And maybe a Papo has been cleared for takeoff.
Alright, and here comes Avia Papo's team into the track with his very wide plane. Looks like it just fits there into the track. Take that turn really wide. He's going to have to be careful as he's going to have to not hit any of the terrain with his wings. And he does just a fine job of doing that. Oh my. And he will get the final gate with a time of 22.301, which will hold him in third place. Next up is going to be a another World War II aircraft that we have competing in this race. This one was actually just added not too long ago. This one by Helse, and he will and he is flying the Supermarine Spitfire Mark II version of the aircraft. And he has been cleared for takeoff. And the Spitfire has been cleared into the track. Here it comes, flown by Helse. Alright, seems like he was finding his bearings on the track. Looks like this will be the way. He will be clear into the track. I mean, very close to the North TV cameras on that. Looks to be going slow, but he is taking it slow, which will most likely help him as he is a little new to the track taking both chicanes one it looks to be one pylon there he's coming around for another for the last chicane see how this time will result now taking the chicane very high and wide gonna have to get quickly back in the position there And it looks like he actually did not finish. Looks like he got a DNF there. That will be a DNF and I will push him to land back with no time. Standings are still Blaine in first, Momoder in second, pop out in. Third and Hell Season 
place. As he lands on the taxiway. Interesting. Next up here to race will be the defending champion from Germany, who will be Viper Scat. Viper coming on to the movies, coming on as a movie star pilot after the main pilot resigned and Viper has been keeping the team alive with his first place wins now we're gonna see if he can take first here and Viper has been cleared for takeoff And into the track Viper goes. Providing some amazing camera shots there. Taking the first chicane well. We'll take that sector beautiful. We'll take that one chicane well. And Viper will be with a time of 22.582 which will hold them in fifth place, oh, I'll say who's in sixth. So standings are Blaine, Momo Builder, Avia Papo, Viper Scale, and Halsey. Those are indeed the standings for now. Seems like we do not have any more pilots actually. Well, Avia Papa summed it up. That will be it for the round of 12 today. Tomorrow will... Tomorrow we will start... Tomorrow we will start at the same time with the round of 8. And then to the round of 4 and tomorrow we will do the final race of the season. So now, Aries, now that the uh, now that the round of eight is tomorrow, let's see what the round of eight is all about. All Roblox Air Racing League races have three rounds: the round of twelve, the round of eight, and then the final four. The round of 8 consists of those 8 teams that were able to move on from the round of 12. The concept is the same between all rounds. Pilots have one go to 
gets their best time. However, only the top four pilots will move on to the final round of four. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the round of four of the Pyro Peak Air Race in Italy. Today we will be contesting the final race of the Roblox Air Racing League. We only have a few pilots. I think one of them is already in the air. Since uh, I think, uh, yeah, there was an elimination already. The first one to fly will be Momo Builder in his red aerodrome plane. Then goes Blaine, the number 23 plane. And then Viper Scale from Team Movie Star. As you may know, Viper has won the past two air races in both Vasa and in Usedon in Germany. Now let's see if he can get a third win in a row. And Blaine looking for his first victory now. And now Momo can, uh, now contesting for his second career win. Now oh, this is uh, this is pretty much Team Movie Star's home race. So let's see how it goes now with all of these pilots. Just awaiting takeoff clearance for Momo Builder. We're just waiting. Here comes the host. Okay, he is clear now. The tracker is on him. He's already lining up. Alright, he's taking off now. Ladies and gentlemen, Momo Builder is taking off into the track. This is, as they said, the hardest track, well, according to them. Let's see how they go. Taking off. Doing a good old spin right there. Classic Momo Builder stuff. Here he comes. Smoke on. Not yet. He's still waiting. In some turns. He's going to get a very, very good approach straight into that double gate. Still gaining speed. The flag has been waved. He's coming into the gate. Very good approach. And here it comes into the start gate. The first straight right in front of the viewers. The gate single pilot turning right, very hard right. Then going to that gate. Now there, wow. To that second single pilot. So the second single pilot. And into the gate. There we go. That was a pretty quick lap. It was 21 seconds. He's now clear to land. with no penalties 21.716 
very good sector one also I think it was just fantastic he's just landing now he's keep his gears down He has touched down now into the runway at Pyro Peak. And up next. Up next we have Blaine. Back three, I think. Not sure. There we go, plane coming in right next. I think it's going to be clear for takeoff. Okay, there we go. He's flying to the track now. There. There we go, he's now clear for takeoff. There was an issue there with the tracker. Okay, he's now waiting clearance into the track. About to go into the straight, right in front of the audience. Pass pass into that gate, left turn. Very, very nice. Double gates, following the path a bit. Oh, inverted into that gate, still managed to go in. Single pilot, hard turn. 
there, but let's see. Let's see, Blaine now taking first place. Okay, look at that second sector and that first sector. It was pretty good, but not as good as Momo's. Yet Blaine still uh, has a podium pretty much insured for him. Now, a very, very short lap. There we go, now Viper coming in. Let's be clear for takeoff. Here comes Viper Scale about to go green the track. There he goes. Green flag. About to go in. Great movie star, P51. We're gonna see how this goes. He is into the track. Let's see how he's going. Oh, very nice there. Into that gate. Very nice second sector right there. First sector. Oh, oh, went a bit wide there. He has to get it perfectly. Oh, and he gets third place. Damn. Third place. Not even. Not bad. Definitely better from his uh, last performance. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Okay, the hosts have confirmed that's it for today, boys. We're going to the podium.
See the pilots just arriving there for the podium. And after the podium, we have the interview. Oh, look at Bud right there. You can see the red nose plane right there. What? That's our podium for today, ladies and gentlemen. Right after this, we're heading into the interview and, of course, the highlights of the past race. Uh, we have uh, Blaine, 5902 in first place. Second, uh, second place, we have Momo Builder, finally back in the podium. And third place, we have Viper Scale for Team Movie Star. Alright, we're now looking into the highlights of the past race at Utsendon, Germany. Welcome to the first ever Roblox Air Racing League. I am honored to say that the most exciting and anticipated race is about to begin.
Tchau. Hello and welcome to the top three interview. My name is Atfago and I'm here with Blaine5902 who got first place, Momo Builder who got second, and Viper Scale who finished in third place. So let's start with third place, Viper Scale. So it's the last week, and I'm I'm gonna ask this uh, to everyone. By the way, uh, it's the last week, and if there is a Roblox Air Racing League next year, will you participate? Most likely, but unfortunately, due to just things, I don't think there is gonna be a season two. It's just an activity, and I don't think a change of of style will really attract more attention to the race, and it's just. I don't know. I feel like the quality is decreasing over time, but if there is a season two, I will most definitely participate. Alright, and how do you feel going from first place to third place from the last two weeks? Because you were doing so well. Um, well, I don't feel that bad because I only got a total of three laps in this, and th that includes this lap. So I had a practice lap before round 12, and then the round of 12 lap, and then this lap. So, I'm pretty happy. I mean, I only got a time, what is that, like, 40 something, like 35 milliseconds below Momo's, mm -hmm. or above Momo's, sorry, so. All right, well, thank you so much. Uh, now on to second place, Momo Builder. So, I'm gonna ask you the same thing. Uh, if there is a second Roblox or Racing League, will you participate in it, Momo? Um. We had plans of doing a season two um, with different classes and a different style of race. We would have something already put up for uh, all classes, like an aircraft acro for every class for our team, so we can participate in the whole Roblox Air Racing League season two. But as Viper said, it's not going, not more likely to going to happen because of inactivity. The staff already it was uh, breaking down at the end of this race. Mm -hmm. um, if we would have more organized staff and more speaking, be uh, more communication between the staff, it could be possible, but it's not likely to be happening, sadly. 
Okay. And are you happy with what what you have achieved so far uh, this year? I'm a uh, in regards of Roblox and Racing League or in general. In general, in well, in in the races, are you happy with the places you got and what you've achieved so far? Um. Yes, I'm quite happy. I wish I could have gone for first place, um, but sadly, due to some circumstances, I couldn't uh, attend other races as well, so we couldn't uh, get points there as well. I'm I'm happy with getting second place in the general championship as well. But, you know, things go like this. Yeah. You can't change a thing about it. I'm happy about it. All right. Well, thank you, uh, Momo Builder, and congratulations. Now on to first place, Blaine five nine zero two. Congratulations on first uh, first place, first of all. And um, I'm going to ask you once again: uh, if there is a second Roblox Air Racing League, will you come back and participate? Yeah, for sure. This season has actually been fun, even though it's kind of gone downhill. But hopefully, there is a season two because I actually want to try and fight for the championship and win it. It's pretty fun. Who do you feel like was your biggest competitor on uh, this week? Uh, Momo, for sure. He was setting like similar times to me in the practices, and then come the race, he kind of just messed up in one sector. But otherwise, he was like on par with me. And uh, one uh, last question: uh, Do you feel like you will be more prepared for next year if there is one? Yeah, for sure. Because now I already know how to, you know, get a hold hand of the planes and all that, and learned all the tricks and whatever all right well thank you so much to the three of you for letting us interview uh you with uh nor tv and this was unfortunately the last week of the roblox Air racing league hopefully there will be a second year and if there is i'll see you then <laughs>